So today we have this 97 Toyota Corolla and the passenger front door doesn't want to open. Um, you can't uh, unlock it, you can't lock it, um, you can't open it from the inside, you can't open it from the outside. So uh, it's a dilemma. It doesn't fully open up, doesn't fully close, it's sort of halfway, halfway. The same here, it's gonna go in. Doesn't open. So this door can't be opened from the outside. So here's the door from the inside. You still can't open it, but you can hear the back door opens correctly, but not the front door. So I think we have a problem with the lock, maybe the actuator that's gone. And um, this is going to be quite tricky uh, to get there. The only thing I can think of is to take off the uh, inside panel of the door and try and get to that actuator. So now what I'm going to do is uh, try and take this latch off and see if it helps. There's a Phillips screw in there. Just take that out. Just lift this up with a flathead screwdriver and push to the back. It comes right out. Now you have to unclip this plastic clip here and then you have to lift up that metal rod over there. So they're just gonna lift up and out. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna try is to open it over here and then try and pull this with a pair of pliers. There's nothing giving there. There's no, not even a smidgen of a give uh, when you pull that. So that's, doesn't, um, it doesn't engage anything. So it looks like um, I'm gonna have to take off this panel and uh, see if I can see what's going on there. Now I'm gonna take off this little panel over here and uh, I'm just gonna use a thin flathead screwdriver to get in on the left hand side there. That's where it lifts up. And then the whole thing slides out to the front. So yeah, you gotta push in the bottom there. If you push that in, it just lifts right up. Now I wanna get this off. Um, once again, small screwdriver. And you wanna go from the front, try and get it worked in there. And there's a clip. There's a clip right there in the end. Once that's up, you can lift up the rest and uh, just work your way around. It comes out just like that. Now we're going to take out the screws. There's one there and there's one there. They're both Phillips. And so uh, we're just going to undo those. So now I'm opening the back door to get access to this panel over here. And um, you start pulling it from the bottom. This panel comes off. Okay, now we have access to this little tab over here. Bit of a scratch on the side, but um, we got it out. So um, this should be able to lift up once we can get the bottom loose. So now what we want to do is take this little protector off. It just clips off right like that. So now comes the hardest part here. The, the panel will just lift up um, 
but in order for us to get it to lift up we have to undo it at the bottom the panel is held to the door frame with uh, clips at the bottom and it's all around and only when you can pull those clips off are you able to lift the panel up and so obviously it's much easier when your door is open it's no, not a problem to do it then but uh, as the door is closed um, like this it's um, this is going to be a, a, an issue the only way i can see how to get to the bottom of this panel is to take off this little strip at the bottom here and see if that will give me some more access this comes off over there just screw it off by hand and the panel should lift out right there now you just pull this out There's a small little screw over there So we continue to try and take this small little strip out Seems to work better if you go from the other side. So it turns out that I was able to grab over here and really pull that away from the bottom, especially to the right. I'm going to have to get a tool down there and pull it away on the left. So I'm able to get this little grab tool in there and then just pull it. Okay, now we've got this loose over here. It means we can pull this out, take that away. And now this can go up. Now we can pull the whole panel up. So now we have access to uh, the inside of the door over here, but um, this is becoming very hard for me to to film from here. So I'm gonna just uh, pause for a while and see what I can do. Okay, so I'm trying to get into these holes to see what I can do from from this side, but uh, the the glass window is in the way, so I'm gonna have to move the window up. Uh, to get the window to go up, you have to plug in the bottom one over here, and then you can. Okay, so now I end up taking off the um, inside panel of the driver's side door, just so that I can see how the mechanism works. So this is the actuator. You see the bottom part there, and the top part right there. Those are the two you need to pay attention to. When you lock, that moves up like that. Unlock, lock, unlock. If I can push that down, then that's going to unlock. If I can just push it down like that, it's going to unlock. If I can go through the hole over here, and then just go like that, press down, that's going to open it right up just like that so it means just going straight in like that once you're inside go down as far as you can go left and you'll be on that housing there go up once you're at the top of the housing go all the way left go down and you've got it this is probably easier said than done but i'm just gonna have to try and go through that hole over there and then see if i can do the same thing on the side So right now I'm just not getting anywhere. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and take that whole panel off. And to do that, I'm going to just remove the seat first. So I'll take out the seat 
and then try and get that whole panel off and that'll give me more space to get in there because I'm worried that that latch is stuck. And the problem with a latch is um, you're going to have to get right into it to see what's wrong and what, what's sticking and why it doesn't want to open. So I need the space and I need to, uh, to see what's going on. So let me get started. So to take the seat out, you have to take off these little covers. And then there's just four bolts uh, in the four corners of the seat and just remove those. Now that I have the seat removed, it gives me much more space to get in there. And the next thing I need to do is just try and get that uh, inner panel off um, that's being held up there close to the dashboard where it's connected. So the problem to get this panel off is just inside there, there's a screw that actually goes into the door itself that um, you can't access from here. You need to open the door to get access to that screw. So I'm not sure exactly what the best way to get there is. So what I'm going to try and do is try and put a hacksaw blade in there and then try and just see if I can saw through that screw over there and then just pull the whole panel out. So now that I have the panel off, I think I'm going to take off this bracket over here and then this bracket over here to give me some more um, access uh, to, uh, to the lock and to the latch. Now that I have that black bracket off, uh, I'm going to take that middle bracket off as well. It might not be necessary, but I just feel it's going to give me more ease of access and, um, you know, a bit just better line of sight into what's going on in there. So the first thing you see is all the rust on the lock there and the inside. And um, I think I'm going to unclip that white plastic cover and then see if I can get that little um, metal rod going up to the uh, lock. If I can unclip that and that maybe should be able to open this door. I won't be able to film this, but um, I think you just unclip it with your hand. So you move that um, white little cover up and then this just slides out to the to the door side um, from there so when i did that i just heard something click inside uh, with a lock mechanism so now i'm wondering maybe this thing is now open so i have to go out and see if i can open it uh, by the, with a door handle this would be absolutely awesome if this opens up right now so this is now going to be the moment of truth. Um, I heard something click inside when I took that little rod out, but now we'll see when I come outside the vehicle. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Whew. What a great feeling. See that door open right up. What a relief to have this door open. So now I just need to take out the, uh, the lock and the handle from the outside. And to do that, there's one bolt over there. It looks like a 10 millimeter from here. And then the other one is accessed through this hole over here. Just go through there with an extension. Uh, undo those two bolts and the handle comes out uh, as well as the lock. So now that I have it out, it seems pretty clear that uh, this lock here is done. Um, I'm going to try and revive it, put some WD-40 and just see if I can loosen it up a bit, uh, get rid of some of that rust and gunk um, that's on there. And then if it works, uh, that's great. If not, I'm going to have to replace that lock. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's one of those tasks that you start and you don't know if you can finish it. But um, keep plugging away, you know, one step at a time. And uh, before you know it, it's done. And um, you've uh, accomplished uh, what you started out to do. So... Uh, thanks for watching uh, please like and subscribe and I uh, hope to see you again <laughs>